it was 4 30 in the morning and i was pretty late today and there was a downpour outside and then it was time for cleaning after doing my own hygiene routine it was time for cleaning the room and then yeah time for cleaning my radhe krishna this is one of the thing i love doing in the morning cleaning my radhe krishna every day and then i went outside of my room um, to plug the tulsi leaves so everybody in my home is sleeping right now it's quite early in the morning and i'm the only person awake and that's my way to pluck my tools leaves all to the mandir where everybody you know do the puja but i've created my own mandir in my room so yeah you can have a look at it Hare Krishna, so now it's time to plug the tulsi leaves which is just outside the glass window and it's quite rainy outside. I hope you can hear the sound of the rain. I love it so that's why I didn't mute it. Hope you like it too. And now it's time to plug the tulsi leaves and always remember to try uh, plucking only the tender green colored leaves which is at the top so that's the way you can least hurt the tulsi plant so i always remember uh, while plucking the tulsi leaves that i pluck only the tender and the green ones not the mature ones which are at the bottom which are larger in sizes and quite pinkish to you know br deep brown colored like purple you know mixture of colors i mean to say then i offer the tulsi leaves to my radhe krishna and always remember to wash the leaves properly before offering and these are the old ones so what i did with those is that i gulped it down or swallow it down because we are not meant to chew the tulsi leaves so uh this is my acne star because my skin is quite prone to acne the t-zone and this is the sunscreen that i use and i always prefer to use veg products after that this is the you know perfume that i bought from iskon guwahati and this is water inside gulab gel and I use it for my gopi chanjan which is just inside this packet to put my tilak. Now it's time to put my carpet aside so that it remains clean for the following days to come. And you can also do it like whenever you want to use the carpet just lay it over and then quickly arrange it and keep it aside so that it remains clean and you save the headache. And now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put the curtains in place. So I'm, I use this string. And now it's time to lay my rug and I'm preparing myself for chanting the japas. And this is the insane sticks, uh, a gift from my friend. So I light it over so that there is a good aroma. Hoping that Krishna likes it. And now it's time for chanting. This is the head beat. And let's chant. The index finger should be out because it's used for pointing the mistakes of others so we don't use it while chanting. So that's the Maha Mantra. So it's lunch time and today I'm making the lunch for Krishna. Here I'm making the outer layer for my pumpkin pakoras. If you haven't prepared meat for Krishna before then please do try preparing a meal once a day or once a week 
and this will give you immense pleasure. Just try it once and mark my words. I think cooking is the best way to learn multitasking. What I do is I look at the vegetables and I have a whole meal plan in my mind and this saves a lot of time while cooking. This is the way it works for me. I hope it works the same way for you all. These are the pumpkins that I am going to use for the pakoras and these are the already boiled cauliflower and broccoli. So my pakoras are ready. I've also fried the broccoli and the cauliflower a bit for some good taste. And I'm frying the capsicum as well. At the same time, I wash the rice thoroughly for the cooking process. Now when the tomatoes turn green, that's the correct time to add the vegetables and you can also put some alai over it if you have it. Some ghee over the boiled rice. Whenever I'm cooking, I just hope that it's good enough for Krishna. I hope it's palatable for him. He enjoys the meal. And I'm also very excited for tomorrow because tomorrow is Putrada Ekadashi. It's 13 of January 2022. And now the food is ready and I'll put some tulsi leaves over it so that I can offer it to Radhe Krishna. And then have the prasadam. See you next time. Hare Krishna.